hey, it's me, Kayvon, by far the most famous and humble half Persian comedian in the world. But I'm 100% American. I went ahead and watched Joe Biden stumble, bumble, and mumble his way through his CNN town hall so you don't have to. Today we're going to investigate, did the Simpsons do it again? There are a lot of similarities between Joe Biden and Mr. Burns. Both are corrupt, evil, one is smart, and the other one's really dumb. Let's see if you can figure out who's who. I also break down exactly how Joe Biden screwed up in the town hall, which the media is trying to cover up. I hope more people will watch TV with a skeptical eye, like I do. Remember, the media is not your friend. They're not fair, they're not impartial, they're most likely lying to you. If that's your default, you'll be a much more educated and much harder to trick consumer of media. First, we take a look at the crowd who came out to see Joe Biden speak. Very pathetic, but it does include all of Joe Biden's legal voters. So that was nice. And for you haters who keep saying in the comments, I'm not that famous, Here's my crowd in Salt Lake City at the exact same time as that town hall. I had more people at my small comedy show than Joe Biden has ever had at one of his rallies. 80 million votes, most famous half Persian comedian. Bing. But Anderson Cooper tips his hand a little too early when he says, we are gonna answer questions from the people. Then he quickly changes it to, I mean, the president is gonna answer questions of the people. Take a look. Tonight, we're gonna to be answering questions from the American people. The president will be answering questions from the American people on his first official trip since taking office. That's not how the news is supposed to work. It turns out Anderson Pooper is just gonna ask pre-planned questions of the moron Joe Biden throughout the night and help Joe Biden if he starts to stumble. <laughs> this just goes to prove that CNN, MSNBC, and all the mainstream media are simply a bunch of evil monkeys that'll go out and do the dirty work of the Democratic Party. Slay! <laughs> I'll get you, my pretty. And the first softball question of the night stops Joe Biden dead in his tracks. When are we going to get back to normal? Well, you know, uh, all the experts, uh, all the committee that I put together with the leading uh, researchers in the world in the United States are on this committee of mine, uh, headed by Dr. Fauci and others. Uh, um, they tell me, be careful not to predict things that you don't know for certain what's going to happen because then you'll be held accountable. Oh, we wouldn't want you to be held accountable or anything. Let me tell you what I think based on all that I've learned and all that I've studied and all that I think that I know. It's one thing to have the vaccine, which we didn't have when we came into office, but a vaccinator. How do you get the vaccine into someone's arm? Uh, with a needle. In reference to the COVID vaccines, Biden said, which we didn't have when I came into office. Well, fact check, that is, of course, completely false. In fact, he received two vaccine shots himself while President Trump was still in the White oh, we House. We just are getting some breaking news. We've got a live shot there of President-elect Joe Biden getting his COVID-19 vaccine. Well, isn't that odd? It's like poking through meringue. Do the Simpsons have a crystal ball? Remember, this is a president-elect. I'm afraid you are the sickest man in the United States. You have everything. You mean I have pneumonia? Yes. Juvenile diabetes? Yes. Hysterical pregnancy? A, a little bit, yes. You know, we may, we got to make... You also have several diseases that have just been discovered in you. Uh, 60 kids in, or however many that would depend on the size of the school bus. I see. You sure you just haven't made thousands of mistakes? Of uh, and I think. Uh, no, no, I'm afraid not. But i but I'm talking about my my guess is all for all summer. Well, this sounds like bad news. Including the CDC and its recent out report. As a matter of fact, John recently wrote an article in a major magazine saying that he wants to do for the healthcare industry. Well, you'd think so, but all of your diseases are in perfect balance. If you have a moment, I can explain. Sanitation workers who work in the in, in the laboratories and the bathrooms and do and to do the uh, the uh, all the maintenance yeah. who is or, or in what order i can make recommendations when you do well america does well even the wealthy do well this is not punitive for everyone every, available to everybody and and uh, pfizer do not either make sure that they apply, they work as well against the strain in the United States, may reduce from 95% to a lower percentage of certainty that it will keep you from getting... It may not be as effective it may as... may not be as effective. ...against a variant, but it still would be effective. It still be effective. If you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Biden, Burns... Nurses make you want to live. I can tell you as a considerable consumer of health care. 
post office box offshore, avoid taxes. I call that unpatriotic. Last week, I opened up, I, I met with the Black Caucus. Black Caucus. Black Caucus. Black Caucus. And agreed that I would all, all of the federal, all, all of the community health centers. Today, Junior. And of course, it wouldn't be a Joe Biden presentation unless he was able to get a zinger in about how dumb he thinks black and Hispanic people are. Probably the worst thing he said all night. Take a look. The other thing we found is, and I'm sorry to go on, but this is really important to me. The uh, the other part portion is a lot of people don't know how to register. Not everybody in the community in the Hispanic and the African-American community, particularly in uh, uh, rural areas that are distant and or inner city districts, know how to use, know how to get online to determine how to get in line for that COVID vaccination. And his comment late in the evening that, quote, minorities don't know how to use or don't know how to get online in response to a question about racial disparities in COVID vaccines, will likely get a bit of attention tomorrow as well. We inherited a circumstance here where, and now for the first, we did a lot in the first two weeks. <laughs> so people, ordinary people like me can understand, I mean that sincerely. I mean, I'm, my, you know, my, my grandchildren can use that, that online, you know, make me look like I'm in a, you know, the seventh century, uh, but all kidding aside. So it, 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 this is a process. And the icing on the cake is when lifelong politician Joe Biden began lying to children and then creeping them out in the process. But he knows I like kids better than people. I so saw a picture of you with your grandson recently. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Um, Sorry to take so long, guys, but everybody knows I like kids better than people. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. By the way, he gave me permission to touch him. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get so personal. When will kids be able to get the vaccine? Well, first of all, honey, kids don't get the vaccine, get COVID very often. It's un unusual for that to happen. They don't, they, and the evidence so far is children aren't the people most likely to get COVID, number one. There have been more than 2 million confirmed cases in kids under 17. On the trust index, we're going to mark that statement as be careful. While children are far less likely to get the virus, there still has been millions of recorded cases. You're not likely to be able to be exposed to something and spread it to mommy or daddy. And it's not likely mommy and daddy are able to spread it to you either. So I wouldn't worry about it, baby, I promise you. But as for children and adults spreading the virus, the CDC says, quote, children can be infected with the virus that causes COVID-19, can get sick from COVID-19, and can spread the virus that causes COVID-19 to others. Children like adults who have COVID-19 but have no symptoms can still spread the virus to others. So on the trust index, we are going to mark the specific claim that kids and parents cannot spread the virus to each other as not true. That's according to the CDC. Well, has your school, have you been in school, honey? No. No. Nowhere See, that's, a, that's kind of a scary thing, too. Don't be scared. You're going to be fine. And we're going to make sure mommy's fine, too. When Biden can't figure out what to do or say, he reverts to his greatest hits. You've heard them all before. Not a joke, folks. I really shouldn't say that. Not a joke. Not a joke, folks. I'm running out of time. Think about it. Look, man. Uh, here's the deal. Look, come on, folks. Folks, my word is Biden. It's about decency. It matters. It matters. It matters. It matters. I do, and I don't want to pick on the press. I shouldn't. I don't, I'm tired of taking more time. I'm going to get in trouble. I'm supposed to only talk two minutes in an answer. And uh, the biggest thing, though, is you remember when you and I, no, I shouldn't say it that way, as you remember, but he just act like a president. That's a stupid way to say you it. You know, I Donald guess, Trump was really asked he... Sorry. Go ahead. No, no, I probably best I don't. Oh, uh, it's painful. As I joke with him, you know, I, I shouldn't say it. I'm going to say something I don't, I, I probably shouldn't say. Well, I tell you what, uh, well, I shouldn't say anything. Everybody laughs about the, no, I shouldn't say that. I'm not even going to go there. And the president not make false, I shouldn't say false. This president is absolutely, well, I shouldn't say it. We used to say in Claymont, Delaware, he ain't a, I won't get into it. I shouldn't say it. <laughs> um, people who are, 
Anyway, I, I shouldn't get going on that. That's a stupid way to say it. I shouldn't have said it that way. Hey buddy, I shouldn't be so casual. A guy... Oh, I shouldn't get going. You shouldn't have been such a wise guy. Shouldn't have even said that. And he said, I was asking him, I... Anyway, I won't go through the whole story. I shouldn't say it. Uh, it's going to take too long to go through the whole explanation, but let me do it, try to do it quickly. The whole reign, yeah, if you're able to uh, have everybody with a, uh, um, with a mask and the like. I, uh, look, uh, I, uh, I made it clear that one of the things about the mo the, one of the most serious... I wanted to see it in its like full context because I'm like, oh, maybe maybe that could make some sense in its full context, and no. You feel like everything's again you. Oh, and while you're watching this train wreck, feel free to put your favorite Joe Biden moment from this town hall right there in the comments. I'll be sure to read those. I'm sorry to go on, but here's the deal. There has to be much more serious, how can I say it? Much more serious, and I'm sorry to go on about this, but it's important. One of the great advantages, I'm sorry to go on, but one, one of the great advantages, as bad as things are, the, uh, 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 that, that are, that, 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 that girl, that, 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 that girl. Sorry, that's the Irish in me. Uh, Crippled Irishman. <laughs> think about it. I'm sorry. My, my plan on COVID. About. You can not function in our system without consensus other than abusing power at the executive level. But all kidding aside, so, so there, there, there are a lot of things that relate, but I think that we can no longer, look, you've heard, I'm, even if you're not involved in politics at all, you've probably heard me say this a thousand times, and matter of, that everyone, is entitled to be treated with decency, with dignity. Everyone is the, the, entitled for that, to that. Just to be clear though, uh, I- Oh my God. I, I said, and by the way, he said, he, he gets it. President Who, not a joke, his predecessor, President Who, for not a joke. Not a joke. It's no joke. Not a joke. Not a joke. Not a joke. Oh, not a joke. Not a joke. Not a joke. Not a joke. You've already spent a great deal of time at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue except now you're living there and you're president. It's been four weeks. What's it like? How's it different? <laughs> oh, oh, what was I laughing at now? I, oh. I get up in the morning and look at Jill and say, where the hell are we? Uh, no, it's, um, look, it's uh, not a joke. 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 Not hyperbole. I really mean it. Not a joke. Mr. President, thank you so much for joining us thank in you. this uh, town hall. We want to thank our audience for being here for their questions. Well, there you have it. Just be glad I cut it down into about eight minutes of footage instead of the full hour plus, because that was not easy to watch. Hey, if I'm your favorite half Persian comedian in the world, prove it to me. Become a Patreon on Kayvon Comedy, make a one-time donation on GoFundMe.com slash TanksGod, or hit me up on Venmo at KVON-KVON. The guy's so nice. They named me twice. Just think, what is the value of a poor guy like me having to watch over an hour and a half of that footage and then assemble it for another 25 hours? And then you decide what it's worth. And remember, all the other late night comedians never had a problem mocking our president for the last five years, for even the slightest typo. But for some reason, I'm the only comedian doing it right now. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Corden, Jimmy Ellen, Jimmy Oprah, where are you? Unbelievable. And if we're being honest, I don't even like reporting on the news. It's a little boring for me. That's really supposed to be the job of Anderson Pooper Scooper, Don Kiss Your Lemons, or Rachel Madcow. But that's not gonna happen for the next two to three years while Joe Biden is president. So you're stuck with me giving you the truth in a fun, lighthearted way. Hope you enjoy it. And now be sure to argue in the comments. That's what they're for. Call each other bigot, Islamophobic, xenophobic, transphobic, sexist, homophobic, reg there's so many, I don't even know anymore. Biden seemed to say that the African-American community lacks diversity. Let's listen. What you all know, but most people don't know, unlike the African-American community, with notable exceptions, the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community with incredibly different attitudes about different things. Oh, lifelong politician, folks. I never thought I'd say this. I like Mr. Burns better.